Hey everybody and welcome to the Shoot Around Preview. Joey Ramirez here joined by assistant coach Judd Bushler. Chicago Bulls legend Judd Bushler to break down this game against the Bulls. Uh, Judd, three rings in Chicago. How does it feel to be seeing your old team? It's always great. I mean, those were four great years of my life. I went there, uh, got to Chicago. I left with three championship rings and two beautiful daughters. So that was a real, real special time. Michael Jordan is very appreciative that you, you delivered him those rings. <laughs> Um, I'm very appreciative of him, actually. But uh, no, great team, great time, and obviously lots, of, lots of great memories. Taking a look at your current team, Judd. Uh, Lonzo Ball, obviously coming off a triple-double effort. His 16 rebounds were the most by a rookie guard in 17 years. What is he doing well, and, and how do you get him involved in, in the offense? I think just as a staff, um, especially Brian Shaw pointed out to him, and Brian's been working with him a lot, that he's just way more engaged when he gets the defensive rebound and when he gets that board he's an excellent rebounder at his size um, he gets in there he gets the board he can just push it down the floor really quickly for us and it creates great pace and great energy for our team so 16 rebounds is a ton of rebounds he did a great job with that he also got his offense going a little bit he was very aggressive and that's what we like to see you know when he gets those rebounds the, we obviously see the, the trademark highlight outlet passes that he's so good at but what how does it have a, a trickle down effect when he, he gets the rebound, he pushes it, but it still ends up being a half-court kind of offense. Well, I think the initial thrust of what we want is we want to break. We want to get out and fast break and get easy baskets. We're one of the leaders in points in the paint in the NBA, so that's our first look is to get it out and get layups. Um, and it's just the energy that he provides. He also provides a very unselfish type play because he's kind of a pass-first guard, um, which we hope that kind of you know, resonates to the rest of our players. So he just, so many great things when he gets the rebound and he pushes it. Julius Randle also coming off a big game, season high 24 points. We've seen Julius do really well this season in small minutes. Last game he got big minutes and he played even better. Uh, what are you looking for from Julius this time around? Just to continue with his play, he's been fantastic. You know, um, obviously it was a, he's moved to the second unit. Um, but he's really taking control of that and taking pride in that, it looks like. And he's coming off a fantastic game, um, last game against Denver. And hopefully he can just continue to um, play with that type of energy out there. When he's engaged and going 100% all the time, he's really difficult to stop. Taking a look at your former squad, Judd, uh, Larry Markinen is kind of the, the headliner here. He's a rookie. He's seven feet tall, but he, he's lighting it up uh, from beyond the arc. Gets a few rebounds in there, too. What, what impresses you most about Markinen? Well, I, I, I love him because he's, uh, he's an Arizona Wildcat, first of all. He's one of us, but he's, he's having a great year. He's been given the opportunity. He's a main focus for us tonight. Um, he had 25, I think, points around there and, and 11 rebounds against uh, in his last game against Phoenix. So he's scoring a lot. He's on the perimeter a lot. Very, very good shooter. We have to be aware of where he is at all times tonight. What do you tell your centers and, and your power forwards about closing out on a guy like that who's seven feet tall and, and can just hit a stroke from there? It's tough because it, obviously he plays away from the basket and our bigs aren't used to being that far out, but we have to close to him. We have to close to him fast, obviously kind of making him a runoff, which means do not let him get the three-point shot up, force him into drive mode. We'll see how our bigs can handle that tonight. Also in a, among the Chicago front court is Robin Lopez. We're going to throw it to our special correspondent for a little breakdown on Robin Lopez. Thanks, guys. Yeah, um, so... For our scout for the Bulls, you know, we looked at it and pretty much when we realized going down the depth charts for each team, uh, there's a, a dearth, you know, at the starting center position, just this big black hole for the Chicago Bulls. And, you know, defensively, I feel like we can help a lot. We can trap the other guys being that we're only guarding four guys on the court pretty much whenever that guy's in the game. Um, and so, you know, I mean, we, we all know that throughout the league, the guy's a joke. So we're, we're not worried in the least about him. You know, it's all about us and what we do. All right, thanks, Brooke. That was Brooke Lopez, Robin Lopez's brother, with a little bit of a scouting report on his uh, little bro. By a minute, Judd. He was, he was his little brother by a minute. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a fun matchup tonight, right? I mean, we have to see it twice, twice a year. Um, I know they're probably – uh, excited to play against each other, and what, it's going to be fun to see how that whole thing plays out. Do you have siblings? Uh, I have a sister, yes, an older sister. Okay, so you guys don't really play? There's no, no rivalry there? There's no rivalry there, no, 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 no. All right, Judd, well, that's Judd Bushler. I'm Joey Ramirez. we got Lakers and Bulls tonight at 730 at Staples Center, and we'll see you there.